Texas Chief Meteorologist Lainey Pope. Now tonight, no complaints with this forecast. Oh. It is beautiful. I'm yeah. so excited. I think this is our reward for putting it up with is. this week, right? Boy, we have had some soggy conditions, some stormy conditions as well. I didn't hear any lawnmowers going today because it's just too wet, right? But the grass is so, so high. You might have some chores that you need to get to. But hey, a lot of folks over the weekend just enjoy getting away close to the water. There is the view at Myrtle Beach today. That's a beautiful day and yeah, it's crowded along the coastline. If you can get to the coast, maybe you get to the lake or get outdoors somehow over the next 24 hours. We do have a warm up on the way. Maybe it's poolside for you tomorrow afternoon. The temperatures are a little warmer than today. We'll be in the low 80s for the foothills as well as the triad with a high of 74 tomorrow afternoon in the mountains over the next couple of days, which includes your Sunday and your Memorial Day. Mountain temperatures will warm a little bit through the mid to upper 70s. Small rain chance on Memorial Day. Look at the nights that really comfortable in the 50s for the foot hills. We've got high temperatures in the low to mid 80s with morning temperatures that are very comfortable. Mostly sunny skies expected in the Piedmont Triad with a high of 84 tomorrow, 87 on Monday. And maybe you haven't had dinner yet. And you're going to be grilling out later this evening. We've got a great evening for it. We've got a few clouds that are going to be passing through, but it will be dry. Our temperatures will be in the mid 60s in the mountains over the next couple of hours and in the mid 70s across the Piedmont Triad. Or maybe you're going to take a hot dog at the Carolina Disco Turkeys game tonight. That's starting shortly with temperatures in the 70s to start, but a really nice night. And yes, no rain in the forecast for Bowman Gray Racing. Tonight, temperatures starting in the mid 70s and a pleasant night as they drop into the upper 60s under mostly clear skies. Right now, we are not quite 80 degrees. 77 in Greensboro, Reedsville, Martinsville, as well as North Wilkesboro, 68 in Galax. This Dew point number is down in the 50s, which makes it very pleasant out there for no matter what your plans are this evening and even heading into tomorrow. It looks nice. Visible satellite picture will just show you some of those clouds that have been dotting the skies. I tell you what, when the clouds come over, you get a little five degree drop in what it feels like to be out there and then the clouds move away and that sunshine is warm this time of year. You look at the radar, it's all dry all the way to the coast. And with those mostly clear skies, you have an opportunity tonight, late night, to check out the International Space Station, which will be moving overhead. You're going to see this at about 45 degrees above the horizon. So if you put your thumb out here, that's about 10 degrees, so you can get that angle. There'll be a three minute pass tonight. You want to look to the northwest. It'll move to the north at about 1050 p.m. And this is pretty precise. You're going to want to get out there beforehand. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s tomorrow morning. 52 degrees in the mountains, a bit cool to start. It'll be pleasant in the triad at 63 with sunshine. Here's your forecast for your Sunday. Warmer tomorrow. We'll get up and over 80 into the mid 80s by late afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Foothills temperatures into the low 80s with a high of 82 tomorrow afternoon. And in the mountains, those temperatures are in the mid 70s by late day. Yes, we've got dry skies in our forecast. The next chance of rain is coming our way on Thursday. Between now and then, heating up and getting muggy. High temperatures will be in the 90s. Wednesday and Thursday with showers and storms returning toward the end of the week. High school football season is just a few months away. One triad school is leaning on a pair of